All right, it's really cold out. The car's been sitting all night asleep. So the battery is below freezing and we're gonna try charging it up and watching how it responds to heat. So I'm gonna launch the Tesla app on my phone and that'll wake up the car from its slumber overnight. Then I'm gonna switch over to Teslax and connect to the Bluetooth in the car. And the car wakes up and we can see what it does. So immediately you see the battery temperature, 26 Fahrenheit, and the BMS mode is in support. It's not really doing anything. We're not really drawing or adding to the battery at the moment because it just woke up and uh, we're not charging yet. So let's switch back over to the app and open up the charging. And you'll see, by the way, that it was at 76% with the snowflake. So we'll crank it up and start charging. And here we go. We're going to see this thing start charging right off the bat. Uh, you'll see, by the way, I have two S, uh, state of charges there. And one shows the 76 that the app shows, and the other one says 81.2. That's the actual state of charge in the BMS. Let me just split the display and zoom in to make things larger. So first of all, the main things we're looking at here are the minimum battery pack temperature. That's the 26.6 you see in green there. And right next to that is the max regen power, which is right now zero. Um, and as we warm up the battery, we're going to be able to charge it, first of all. And if we were driving, we'd add regen power. Now you'll notice that we're not charging here. We have no regen power. The battery power is almost zero. Um, and that's because the battery is below freezing. It's very bad to charge a lithium ion battery below freezing. So what we're doing here is you might see up top the rear motors running at three kilowatts. Uh, actually, we have a little bit more accurate measurement there just below. It's called waste heat. 3.4 kilowatts is what you get. I have a rear wheel drive. If I had a dual motor, I'd have double that with two motors. And what it's doing is running that 3.4 kilowatts through the coils of the motor without turning it making heat. Uh, and then you'll see below, it's actually running the coolant in the, through the powertrain and back through the battery. And so we're taking that heat from the motor and slowly warming up that battery. So that's gonna take a little while. Let's switch back over and turn on the heat in the car and warm the cabin as well. And watch, you'll see the actual heaters come on down below, you see you have left and right heaters climbing up there. And you can actually watch the cabin temperature climb slowly too while we're at this. In fact, you might notice we're drawing a little bit of battery power now. Uh, it'll actually draw power from the battery uh, when we're first ramping up those heaters. But when they come back down, battery power goes back to about zero. All the while, we're still running those motors, still slowly warming up the coolant. But hey, you might as well warm up the cabin while you're waiting. Uh, you'll see at the bottom I have um, some of the charging. I have five kilowatts of charging in my house. I have uh, 208 volts and 24 amps. We're in for a long wait here. So let's speed up the next eight minutes 20 times. And we can watch this battery heat up quickly. And I'll stop it just before something happens. You'll see the battery temperature slowly go up, but you'll also see the rear stator temp, which is the temperature of the coils in the motor. Uh, the coolant temperatures go up with it as well. And just before we get to uh, just below freezing, you'll see something happen in a second here. Let's slow it down to real time. And we're at 30.2 Fahrenheit, just below zero degrees C. And there we go. We just started to getting a teeniest bit of regen there. 100 watts at a time, this isn't something you'd really feel yet, but the BMS is starting to become comfortable with being able to put a little bit of energy into the battery. And we're just below freezing, so it's gonna take a bit longer before it actually starts applying charge power to the battery. You might also notice that our uh, indicated state of charge has gone up to 78% when it was 74 originally, so it's compensated for the fact that the battery is now a bit warmer. And that's despite the fact that we have still not yet added any actual charging power to the battery. So of course we've, we've gained that range and uh, that percentage of, I'll call it 
fake temperature compensated uh, state of charge by just heating the battery a few degrees. So it's going to take a bit longer here before it starts actually charging the battery. And uh, I'd remind you again, that is the minimum battery pack temperature. A good portion of the battery is already above freezing now, but it has to wait for the worst case battery cell to get above freezing or else you could possibly cause dendrites and cause the battery to degrade or even cause a fire in a bad case. Let's speed this up again. I'll go up to eight times as we warm this battery just to got to get just above freezing here and watch that top left corner with the battery current and suddenly you'll notice there we go it's solidly negative we're starting to charge the battery we went from zero now we're solidly two amps and we're charging away almost at a kilowatt now now if we waited much longer it would eventually turn off the motor heating and it could just charge the battery normally and apply all five kilowatts to the battery. But we've achieved warming the battery enough to charge and we've also achieved warming the cabin. And most importantly, we've brought back a lot of that regen power that makes it much more fun to drive. So I'm gonna switch back over and stop charging. We'll go and turn the target charge level down so it stops. Now check out what happens. What we see is the motor's still running. The motor's still heating the pack. Why is that going on? Well, because I have HVAC still running. I still have the cabin preconditioning going and it's a nice feature while you have cabin preconditioning, it preconditions your battery. And uh, so even without charging, when you warm up your interior, you're going to warm up your battery and start getting regen. Uh, we'll turn everything off here and switch back. And you'll see the motor's now turned off. We're not charging the battery. It's basically completely idle again. So how about we compare where we've gone to where we started. We've raised that battery temperature by 10 degrees. We've added 15 kilowatts of regen power. This is about 10 minutes of time. And um, our state of charge has gone from 76 to 79. Our cabin's warmer. And this is a car I'd much rather drive to work than what I started with 10 minutes earlier. So I hope this gives you a little overview of what uh, happens when you start charging or start conditioning your car. Hopefully you've started to get a little idea of how battery temperature affects other parts of the car. And looking at these signals in detail definitely lets you see what's going on. So if you found this useful, please subscribe. I'm going to have a few more videos that look in depth into the signals of the car and how it works. Thanks.